What's poppin', man? What's poppin', man? And old man, goddamn, Dirk Manager has done an interview with DJ Academics. And in this interview, there's a lot of fishy shit coming out, man. It's a lot of fishy shit. And even the manager said the whole shit was some fishy shit. So, if you ain't seen the interview, the manager says after the album release party, he ain't know about this damn club that he's about to go to. He ain't know about a hookah lounge. So, he uh say Vaughn and fucked around and went there by his motherfucking self and left motherfuckers on some weird shit. Right there, that was some uh suspicious shit right there. Like, why would Vine not be moving like the president at any time? What was the point of going to this hookah lounge? Because they was not scheduled to go to this hookah lounge. Nobody knew about this hookah lounge. So somebody reached out to Vine to come to this hookah lounge right or wrong. Boom. There you go. So... If a motherfucker reached out to Vine to come to his hookah lounge, and why Vine wouldn't off top let a motherfucker know to slide through there with him? And why would you just leave everybody? Who told you to leave everybody? Then he say when they get that, they get up to Vine and shit, and he just sitting in the car for like 20, 30 minutes on some weird shit. This coming from the manager now. He say, Vaughn just sitting there on some weird shit. And then somebody come up to Vaughn's car that Vaughn one of his entourage motherfuckers. Knock on the window like, hey, Quando Rondo right here. Land this motherfucking car asleep. We can get this nigga right now. The manager just trying to act like it's say, oh, he just saying, there you go, sleep. Come on now. Y'all Chirac motherfucking savages. You know how Cyrax Savage do, he caught a nigga lacking. So Vaughn thought he was about to motherfucking catch this nigga lacking. So the how the manager say it once the nigga told Vaughn, Quando Rondo was laying in the motherfucking car, uh Vaughn snapped and immediately jumped the fuck out type shit. He's like he went from a calm state to a fucking psychopath, you know what I'm saying, and he like, couldn't nobody stop this nigga, so he jumped out like, let's get it, you know what I'm saying, so, when, um, so, when they get out the car, nobody got pistols, the manager said, the manager say, the reason security ain't got pistols, cause once everybody arrived, he sent the security in there to make sure everything okay, and security can't take they um can't take they fucking guns inside the club. So they might not have been licensed security or professional security. Couldn't have been. Cause in my state, if you security or some such like that, police officer, you can take your weapon. But anywho, so they goes in the club, make sure that everything okay, whoop, whoop, whoop. They come back out with no guns, and it's a big brawl. Now, him and Quando Rondo, it's been confirmed that was Quando Rondo he was tussling with. So, um, him and Quando Rondo tussling, then goddamn this random-ass shooter, Tim, come from around the goddamn truck. And busts him, and he just like I said, I said this in the other video. I knew it. Nobody knew who the fuck he was. Swear to God, just dropped this video, and this nigga Dirk Manager just comes out with this interview and say nobody else knew who he was. This nigga was not into alter in the altercation, man. So right there, that's some more fishy shit. So he say the nigga just. Aim straight, boom, 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 boom. Hits Vine and hits him. Yeah, the manager gets shot and he get hit by Tim one time in a leg. You know what I'm saying? Everybody took damn near leg shots. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like the shooter took a leg shot or some shit and Vine, uh, manager took a leg shot. 
Vine took four up close massive shots. You know what I'm saying? And he wasn't nothing but a buck sixty. Took some massive shots up close. Still wasn't no surviving for him. I wouldn't have thought. But they say when they got Vaughn in the car, he was calm and shit and telling everybody else to be calm. But anywho, so he say the police shoots the shooter from the back. See, from the video, I seen the motherfucker look like they came and popped his ass and walked away. Then another nigga came and took the gun and got rid of the motherfucking gun. That's what I seen. See, there's a lot of shit in this video this manager is not pointing out. But he say the two the two um people that died with him had weapons. He say everybody out there just had weapons. The police was trying to shoot everybody. Anybody had a weapon, they was shooting. But why would the police just shoot everybody and kill everybody? If they was killing everybody with weapons, why they ain't kill um like Come on, man. This was an assassination. This was a hit, man. I don't care what nobody say. It's too much suspicious shit, man. What the fuck? Why the police ain't kill the nigga then if he was killing everybody with weapons, right? Because clearly they, the manager say the police shot him. Why he ain't kill him, though? If they was out here all using motherfucking lethal force on anybody that had weapons and shit. Come on, man. And don't forget the fact who the fuck told King Von to come there. Why would he be by himself? Then on some weird shit, sitting in the motherfucking car on some just some weird shit. You know what I'm saying? On some blank ass shit. Bro, get your ass in the car. Out this motherfucking car. What happened was King Von was fucking meeting somebody there. Somebody told King Von to come there and that's gonna be crazy to find out who the fuck did that and the manager also made a, a special purpose to point out that little dirt wasn't there he made sure you know that he said it three times three or four times to make sure you know little dirt wasn't there bro ain't nobody said nothing about no little dirt bro the fuck you talking about but you know what i'm saying it is what it is, man. This whole thing suspicious, man. It's looking suspicious as the details come out more and more. Uh, R.I.P. Vaughn, man. R.I.P. his dogs that died with him. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the motherfucker that say shit. If we all one die, we all should die. You know, shit don't go like that. So I ain't placing the blame on motherfuckers. But I still can't understand how the shooter just laying on the ground unfazed, really. You know what I'm saying? And goddamn, the nigga that was on top, uh, King Vine was holding Quando Rondo as a shield. That's why he was on top. When the nigga started shooting, this nigga King Vine grabbed Rondo. And this nigga was clutch, clutching this nigga so hard that the other people had to come knock Quando Rondo ass out just to get him out of Vine hands. He wasn't doing nothing to Vine. Vine just clutched him as a shit. Shit. Quando Rondo was trying to get the fuck away too. And that's just how that shit happened. How, what they was mad over, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. The manager say wasn't nothing, no problem. Wasn't no problem. Like, ain't nothing pop off, wasn't no argument. It's just boom, fight. Fight shot, fight shot. Instantly like that. He said 1.5 seconds. For some reason, he kept saying this 1.5. 1.5. So I don't know, man. I'm just giving y'all the update. Y'all already know what it is, man. Subscribe to the channel. The best damn podcast, man. You already know, man. Triggs Image Podcast. The best damn podcast. And I'm out this thing. Your bitch.